Let's have a look at two example questions. I'll do one more video with another two example questions. The question is, what is the area of each triangle? Yeah? Now, perhaps you want to um, try them yourself first. Yeah, but we say that, well, for well, a triangle in general, it is half times base uh, times height, yeah? but the base and the height have to make it at a 90 degree angle. But we found a different formula, half AB, sine of C, all right, will always give me the area of a triangle, yeah? And I've shown you in the previous videos why it looks the way it does. Okay, so A, B, C, yeah? so make sure there are no teammates, A, B, indeed, the angle is the teammate of that length, so I can say times seven, times eight, times the sine of 75 degrees. You see that? I write it down, it gives me points, it shows I understand, it shows I'm in control, it gives me a good feeling as well. Um, now I grab my calculator, sine of 75 equals, and to three significant figures, 27.0. Uh, now let's say all those units are centimeters because I didn't write it down, so centimeters squared. All right, next question. Also, the area of any triangle, half times A times B times the sine of C. Yeah, just write that down. Uh, it shows that you know what you're doing. All right. Um, a and B are lengths, and the angle cannot be the teammate of either one of them. Yeah, and indeed, I don't have to do any special extra moves. It is a half times four times 11 times the sine of 95 degrees equals, grab my calculator, uh, 0 0.5 times 4 times 11 times the sine of 95 equals and uh, 21.9 and again let's talk about centimeters centimeter squared okay so we're talking about the area of triangles yeah which can always be found uh, you don't need that perpendicular angle anymore the area of a triangle is half times a times b times the sine of c okay next video two more questions see you there